How can you tell if a debt collector is legit? What's up everyone, David here with free to be and thank you for joining me for another video. Now in today's video, I wanna go over some tips and tricks to identify when a real debt collector is looking for their money and how to avoid getting scammed should you come into a situation where it's questionable and you don't know if you actually do owe this money or if it is just a big scam trying to take advantage of you and basically steal from you. But before we get started on this channel, I cover financial literacy. So if you are new to my channel, please take a moment and click the subscribe button down below. Thank you for joining me for this video. And basically what I'm trying to do here is document my journey to financial independence. And in doing so, I hope that I'm creating a blueprint with valuable information that others can use as well. So please just take a moment and click the subscribe button down below. And if you're not new, thank you for joining me for another video. I really do appreciate it guys. All right, so how can you identify if a debt collector is legitimate or if they're just trying to defraud you of some cash? So the first tall tale sign is that you started to receive some correspondence in mail. Now, by the time that you know your account gets in the hands of a debt collector, it's most likely in a different name than where it started from. So for example, if you bought a TV from Best Buy and just forgot about that payment and never made it, by the time it gets to a third party debt collector, it's probably under a completely different name and they've either tried to reach you on the phone and more likely they have your information so they'll actually send you physical mail. So if you are receiving mail, that's usually an indication that this is a legitimate request. And to further verify that is usually the double tap. So they'll send you the mail and they'll follow up with a call or they'll call you and follow up with mail. So if you get both of those communications, then it's most likely legit. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna say that these aren't foolproof, right? So just because you get a call and a piece of mail doesn't mean that it's 100% legit all the time. So make sure you're always doing your diligence before you send people your hard earned cash. Now, the next way you can tell is that the agency that's contacting you is actually licensed to do so and to do business in your state. So when somebody calls you looking for cash, jot down their name and a callback number and go do some research. If they are licensed, then they're most likely a legitimate organization looking to get reimbursed for the debt. Now, if you're still worried that this is a legitimate request, the next thing you can do is kind of test the requester because most likely if it is legitimate, they will have a lot of your personal information. So ask them to verify some of that, whether it's date of birth, uh, you know, your address, your last known address, uh, phone number, email, whatever you want to test them on, ask them for some personal information and they should be able to provide it for you. Now don't go crazy and start asking them questions about your past or your childhood that you would have never shared with the original debtor to begin with. Keep it, you know, reasonable to pieces of information that you would have provided at the time that you borrowed the money. Now, should they pass all of this, what is next? Well, let's say now you've verified that this is a legitimate person or a legitimate company looking to be paid for debt that you have what's next well the next red flag would be if they only take one form of payment or something crazy like we only accept bitcoin please send us bitcoin at this address that should be a red flag right away usually a creditor who's looking to get reimbursed is going to work with you they're going to give you several different options when it comes to paying back the money because at the end of the day whatever they collect is at this point it's a bonus for them they've probably bought this debt a few times it's passed hands a few times it's gone through a lot of things, a lot of pursuit in terms of collecting this money. So at this point, whatever they can collect is better than what they had. So more often than not, they're willing to work with you, whether you can send them two checks over a period of six months, if you wanna pay with a credit card over the phone, there are ways that they can work with you. So if they are refusing to take different types of payment or different styles or you know payment plans or something like this, then it's probably a red flag that it's not a legitimate request. And again, there's ways to protect yourself here, right? So if a debtor collector calls you, the first thing you should do always is to ask for a callback number. Try to get as much information about their business as you can. Get the person who you're speaking to's name because these are usually things that scammers avoid giving out. So if a scammer calls you, they're usually very hesitant to give you a callback number or a complete name or the name of a company. So if a company that calls you is willing to give you all this information, take the information, go do some research, and then give them a call back if you figure out that it is legitimate. 
And another thing you can do is go check your credit report because most likely this debt will appear on that report and it will show you exactly how much is outstanding and who it is currently sitting with so that you can get some more information about its status. And finally, you can go back to the source creditor. So in my example, if you borrowed money from Best Buy, give them a call and figure out what happened to your account. If they closed your account and sold that debt to another party, they'll give you the name of that party they sold it to. Then you can call that company. And if that company tells you that they sold it to someone else, you can then trace it to the next company, so on and so forth. And you can do some investigating on your own by doing the trace work and figure out who the company that currently owns that debt is. And finally, before I go, how do you actually report fake creditors or scammers? Well, again, when they call you, be sure to take detailed notes, get callback numbers, talk to them like your friends, have them email you information, have them mail you information. If that means you have to give them your mailing address or give them their email address, you're gonna wanna gather as much information as you can. And then you can submit this to the Better Business Bureau or to your state's attorney general, but you can basically then report the scammers to those folks and that'll help get rid of one more scammer in the world. All right guys, well that's all I had for this video. If you enjoyed it or have any feedback, let me know in the comments down below. If you did like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment and just click the subscribe button down below and we'll see you next time.